now with the uh, conditions not being very favorable for <clears throat> using the zodiac and getting out on the back line um, i've decided to go and check out the guys at angling marine and sort myself out with a little outfit to do some scratching on the rocks to go out in the mornings before the sun shore wind gets up and just to scratch around in the areas and look for some cob on artificial so i'm looking for a rig something that's reasonably lightweight but pretty powerful as well so you can handle a decent fish and we're going to go down and see what daniel has to say and what he's what he recommends i'm going to be looking for something that i can throw a lightish sinker or a reasonable sinker and then also throw uh, up to a two uh, two ounce uh, jig head so yeah let's go and see what daniel's got down there now as you can see the onshore is howling again it was light offshore this morning just for a little while and then uh, yeah this big onshore has kicked in again it's been uh, what we've had to deal with this whole summer so yeah it's uh, it's a different summer you can see the onshore is pumping on the beach break small swell i come across to angling marine here and yeah I'll come check the guys out see what they've got to say and see what they've got to recommend now they are open i'm here pretty early there we go. let's get a parking normally come and normally come and park here and give the guys my keys when i go and surf magnus i look after my keys probably the most together fishing shop in this whole area so yeah pop in here and come and check them out Yeah, way. Hey, okay, come man, yeah, you, I'm videoing you, Tana. Look at Are you busy doing repairing freaking Just throw nets? Fixing a throw net. Yeah. Yours or somebody else's? Someone else's. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yes. You done with all the freaking blacktail traces now? All eh? hanging. Ready. All hanging. They're ready for the holiday makers. Uh. I see a little while ago he was pitching because that's all he was doing for the holiday makers, but they've <laughs> left now, so yeah, on to the next job, eh? So back in the day, uh, we used to fish along the beach and uh, throw weighted Rapalas. We had to put uh, lead onto our hooks of our Rapalas. There were none of these beautiful, beautifully made weighted Rapalas that you can throw today. In those days, we used multipliers. Today, the uh, grinders have taken over with the braid. So yeah, it's a new game and uh, you've got to teach the bully some new tricks. So we had a look at a couple of outfits and as I had a spare 45 uh, metalloid we decided to use that and to spool it with some new JBD braid. Yeah, I went for a cost effective solution as we weren't going to use it that often. Okay, so Dan's just done a, a bridge there between the my 30 backing at the back and the 15 15 pound which we're going to be putting on that's JBD braid so is it on a bridge or a thicker what's that 50 pound it's a hundred pound hundred hundred pound sorry okay, and he's done two PR knots on either side and not having thrown a lot of paddle tails Dan then just went about showing me a couple of tricks on how to rig these paddle tails up for a weedless setup little like a little gill line over there yeah just from behind there start your your cut You don't want to go too deep, or otherwise you're going to lose the meat in there. Yeah, it'll be a little bit more than that. So you'll you'll sort of go halfway into it to where okay, that green colour starts. Okay. okay yeah. Then what I like to do is also like to do the top part, especially where the hook comes out. But that's just a little slit. Yeah. It's like that. Okay, cool. So when you put your, your weedless one in, so, so you your, bury the hook yeah. point inside there. Yeah. So okay, cool. the hook point comes out over here and it, it buries so into, in, the little into the slit there. Slit, yeah. okay. That part there, what that helps with is when the, the cob or something takes it, it pushes, pushes the hook into that and pushes, pushes it out the hook at the top. Proud, yeah. Otherwise, so the tip of the yeah, hook comes it out. It just yeah. sits too heavy inside yeah. there. You know, these and you might miss it a bite. Yeah, yeah. So okay, you can see what we've done is we've pushed it into the slot where it's opened up where the hook goes through and then it comes out the top just where that slit is there 
So you just pull the hook back a little bit and then bury the tip into the into the yeah. paddle tail. So now it's flush, so it's weedless. Now you just pull it back and bury the tip. And actually go a little bit further in there like that. And the moment there's pressure, the hook pops free. Okay. Hundreds. Then, 100%. just a little trick. Take a bait needle. Just below his tail here, where a lot of the movement part is. Make a little hole. And take a little glass rattle. Oh, is that the rattle that you yeah. put in there? Okay. You'll see it's got a point to it like that. Yeah. And there where you made Jamming your hole. I don't reckon that works. It makes a difference, eh? It goes in there. So when all your movement goes, yeah. a little glass makes... rattle goes. Okay. <laughs> Those are all the tricks all, in the, all, these all the tricks. little tricks in that. It's uh, much easier to pull a rattle rapala behind the boat yeah. and yeah. just jump on. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Sana, thanks. Pleasure. Awesome. Okay, so we've gone and got a, an outfit uh, put together at the shop. Um, I've gone for a middle of the road. I had a uh, Metaloid 45, which uh, we had just took the 30 pound off. I was using it for jigging um, on the yacht, and uh, we've put some 17 pound, very thin diameter JBD braid on, and then a 30 pound uh, leader. Uh, just so that you can cast off the leader, it's about six meters of leader, it's just easy on your fingers. And yeah, I've got, uh, yeah, I bought a uh, assassin, um, a little 11 foot assassin uh, sort of surf caster. But yeah, I've gone for a middle of the road rod, so I've put the two together. I'm down at one of the beach breaks uh, at uh, what we call Secrets. Um, the onch has been blowing, it's actually settled down a bit, I'll show you now. And uh, it's looking a lot better now. This looks like a little bank here at the beach break. You see there's a little bank here, there's a little, little, little gutter here with the bank here. I'm going to go and see if I can throw along there and see what happens there. Towards that little hole at the end there. I can feel by the wind the water feels a bit cool, um, but yeah, I'm just going to go and give it a shot, see how this thing throws, and then yeah, we'll take it from there. Yeah, so it's important to go and uh, chat to the guys that know what's going on. I mean, this is a completely different setup and with a whole set of different rules, and uh, yeah, the best way to find out and learn how to get on top of the game is to go and speak to the guys at the shops, chat to the guys that do it all the time. They'll give you some ins and outs and, uh, and learn sort of the fast track your way to the best... Uh, advice you can so you've got a chance uh, if you go and hack around yourself the chances are you're gonna battle and uh, yeah I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna battle here so we'll just have a look and see so little did I know how much I was actually really gonna struggle I hadn't been down to the beach and had a look at the whole area for a while yeah you could see the rocks from the car but when we got down there yeah, you can see all the rock yeah check all this rock and that that's all the uh, sand had been scoured from the beach break and uh, the moss covered rocks which are normally under the sand had been uncovered. It was impossible to walk on the rocks or even get near to the bank that I wanted to get to. Yeah, so the surf uh, attempt yesterday didn't go well. The whole beach has been absolutely scoured out. I should have realized that after seeing supers. But yeah, I'm gonna take the duck out today. We've got a waste coming. I don't know if it's gonna be worth it, but we'll see. The big onshore swell running. Got a car helping me here, which is lucky. Let's check what happens. Cheers.
uh, these conditions haven't been great. Eh? Uh, we've got a pretty big uh, sort of onshore swell, very mixed up short period. And uh, yeah, the Westies forecast to come up pretty quickly today. And I see already we've got a bank in the west here. So I don't even know if I'm going to get a chance to work the banks down the river mouth. Um, uh, the water's not cold but it's not warm anymore and it's going to turn over and go cold with the southwester so yeah I might, I might get half an hour down there I don't know um, you can see behind me there's, there's some little cloud banks where the, the winds are already puffing so yeah it's one of those days where the tides low at half past six so I'm actually going to be there on low tide which is not great you want to be there at least two hours three hours before the low so uh, trying to force a day in here you know when the conditions are on and when the bite's on. We've got the uh, Rock and Surf National starting tomorrow. So there's going to be a thousand guys on the beach. So yeah, that's also one of the reasons why I'm pushing maybe just to get half a day in here. Or half it, I'll be lucky to get a quarter of a day in here. And uh, yeah, because it's going to be super crowded and on the beach uh, this next couple of days. So yeah. on the end here and see what happens to where the cop should be over here. A little bank here. Not looking too great. A little spill off on the end here. It's going to try. And uh, uh, right on the end there, there's a piece. This little bank up front here looks really nice. This one here. Nothing yeah, the banks weren't 100% and I uh, made a few turns on the uh, banks that they were there that looked okay and then worked our way further down the uh, beach.
that's how it goes with fishing. I've come all the way down the beach. We're gonna get a hiding going back because the southwest is about to hit us. Seen a couple of guys on the on the e-bikes who've been casting. They've all come up, so they haven't found anything. That's fishing. If the conditions aren't right and there's no formation, you can stand on your head. Oh well, we gave it a try. We'll check it out in the next next little bit of session when we get the low tides and hopefully that these banks start to sort themselves out it's been a very different uh, summer normally this fish would be on now and we'd have banks we've had a lot of onshore so i don't know why we don't have any banks we should have but you are looking at the beach and the rocks and how it's been scoured out all i'm seeing here are these long gutters there's not really horseshoes there was one little one at the top there but that's sort of in the area we don't get fish most of the fish are down here towards the river mouth so yeah what can do better luck next time yeah when the fishing's like this it makes you appreciate those amazing days of fishing that we had before we went on the sailing trip yeah, it was just as well i'd left uh, to come home early because you can see the uh, wind starting to stretch on the water here the southwester came up and blew up to 30 knots I got back just in time. Now guys, uh, fishing is fishing, so uh, tune in next time. Hopefully we'll have some uh, better catches. So make sure you subscribe, and we'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.